Hello guys, Mikishbe here. Welcome to License Recap, where I, in this video, gonna just recap everything that is important here. Nothing like necessary, but a lot of new stuff they have added. We are getting a new floor, a new banner, getting more free banners to pull, getting events, a lot of events that we can play around, especially during June, and a lot of new stuff, a lot of new stuff. And we can talk about all of those in this video. So, first thing first, the topics. These are the six topics that I talk about in the live stream, but we're gonna focus on three, which is the six of a five anniversary, the events, wedding events, and also the new floor. That's all. So during the six anniversary, six of a five anniversary is for the Japanese release, I believe, right? So we are getting 30 million XP and silica event again. That is nice for those that needed the AEXP. We are getting Awakening campaign as well, so you can level up your Awakening level 1 to level 2, 1% uh, rate. I think, I believe, usually it is around 8% or 60%, something like that. So 1% is really nice. We're getting a Kibao event where we are getting free uh, 30 uh, large release crystals and also free 100 books, so that is nice. Um, they're also adding Golden Colossus event where we can get stones. The stones are for crafting Lux weapons, so that's really nice. And also Kiyos armor, I think it is level 135 or something like that, I believe. But three stones, that is good. And then they also added Ingot campaign. Ingot campaign for dungeon. So for those that are farming ingots, especially that is for late game players, that is nice. Now you can keep farming, you can now max your ingots. And especially me, I'm gonna try to max my ingot. I'm currently farming, so that is actually really nice. Next up, they're gonna add also Yuki event. This is where we have our incense, so this is gonna be really good. We just had it like a week ago, and now they're adding it back again. So we're gonna have more incense to farm. For those that are looking for EXP, you can also get EXP, but mostly drop rate ingots or incense are the ones we really, really want. And next and last, we are getting a board quest campaign. Uh, this is uh, EXP, so the EXP is gonna increase by six times the quest reward. So those that are farming EXP on board quest, you are getting six times more EXP now. So that is nice. So a, a lot of events. Next, we are getting free pulls. So in total, we are getting 660 free pulls, and they have divided it. So we're getting 330 uh, pulls for free for the skill record, so that's nice. Then uh, the rest, they added to the mod pieces, the ingot, and also avatar. In total, we're getting free 660 free pulls, so that is nice. Especially this one, we are getting free nidos for those that are looking for nidos. But any 4 star extra is really really good. Next, we're also getting free account gems for every quest that we answer correctly, and also additional 10 free large nighters, which is really good. Free 10 nighters? Wow. A lot of players really, really want that, especially if you're trying to max limb break your skill, so that is actually really nice. Next up, we have a new banner with four new skills, and you can see it is a step of banner of five steps, and we have four new skills. Sinon, Lifa, Koharu, and Silka. We can already see Sinon is a new connect skill. Lifa is gonna be a new burst skill. Koharu is gonna be a new access skill, and Silka is gonna be a new mod skill. So, what do the skill do? Well, gladly I uh, was able to translate this one with Google. Thank you very much, Google. So, Koharu, let's read more about Koharu. So, the car skill, it is an axle passive skill that gives you a power rise 4, a hand attack, and also a rush loss 1. I don't know what that is, but power rise 4, it gives you a free 900 attack at max level break. And we also get the more attack percentage, 15%, really good. And I guess when you equip this skill, you're gonna reduce 30% defense and also your own HP. And when your HP is below 3%, your attack gonna reduce by 1000%. So this pass skill is not good for suicide, can be really bad. But now they also have this one, break gauge increase amount to enemy increase by 30%. That is amazing, especially on access skill. This, I guess this is, can be really good for spear, for those are trying to increase the break gauge on the boss. Spear is really good at it, so 
So maybe Spearman does really want this one. Next up, we have the Xenon. So what does Xenon do? Well, she is a connect skill, connect skill, frost and wind, and it does 16, 1604% damage, three hit single target. So when you use it, you're gonna stack your attack by three stacks, 1% uh, per stack for 20 second duration, not bad. And when, when the skill hit, increase the stacks number on yourself, 369, really good. And if you have two more cards in the same set, you're gonna add more stacking to yourself. So this is basically a stacking connect skill, really good, especially if you really like to stack on your bow. This is a really, really strong correct skill, especially if you're trying to stack, maximize, maximizing your stack to 99. This is really good. Next, we have Leafa. So what is Leafa? She is a burst skill that does 2, uh, 20, 150% damage for hit single target or AOE, I guess. So when you use it normally, you will increase your own defense by 50% for 50 seconds and also increase your dark damage by 9% for 50 seconds. So that is not bad. But if you activate the burst, which you're gonna need to do dark, dark, slash, dark, you will deal 4,804% damage for hit. And the effects you're gonna do with the burst is that your own attack increased by defense by times two, really good. Your critical damage to enemy during break increased by 100%. Now this bonus, if you can crit, it's really good. If you don't crit, then this is really bad. So it is a really strong burst. But the second additional effect, I don't know about it. It looks strong. I mean, this here, the, the first additional effect, this is really good already. But the second one, as long as the enemy is broken, this is really good. Otherwise, if you can crit, you're gonna miss out a really good a chunk of damage. And when you activate the burst, you won't consume any SP. Really, really nice. And last, we have Silka. She is a mod skill, a dagger slash fire mod skill that does 1430% damage in a target. Attack power increased by 1500 against um, against hitting type enemy, so I'm guessing blunt, against blunt enemies. So those that is with the slash element. And the second additional bonus, attack power increase against enemy with the status element. element by 0.3% per stack really and really nice bonus so you can deal more damage depends on the enemy how how much element the enemy has next up they add the, they talk more the event so we're gonna get more rerun events especially when this wedding right now wedding theme so we're gonna get more rerun event from the wedding and now let's talk about the new floor so this is small introduction of the new floor they showcase a little bit of the map so this is a screenshot or showcase of the map really nice really nice looking and they also showcase a little bit around here um, so here you can see they're gonna showcase a little bit of the map small introduction a small teaser you can see it looks really really nice we have the mobs and then now they're gonna go outside looks really nice and this is a full floor not a half floor so we're gonna have a boss labyrinth as well so here you can see they'll talk more this is floor 69 they're gonna be released on wednesday so 29th of may this new floor gonna be released and also during the floor floor release they're gonna add more stuff into the game so they're gonna increase the weapon prophecy level and add more and add new weapon prophecy skill really nice for those that are that are focused on that we can now make our machina weapon series to five star from four star and you can see you need two new stones and also 11 of these materials which is gonna take a while to farm so you're gonna need to farm a lot of this and lastly they're gonna adjust the attack power from level one to 100 i mean it's kind of small for us for those that are late game we're gonna get extra what maybe extra 50, 100, 200 attack, it's still really good. So they're gonna adjust the attack power from level of one to 100. And from above 100, 101, nothing gonna change. Just changing the attack power from one to 100. I guess it's because to make sure the new players have easier to deal damage on the, when you progress into through the floor. I believe it's something like that. And yeah, so that is everything you need to know for this live stream recap. In summary, 6.5 anniversary, we're gonna get a lot of new free stuff, 
new events, a lot of new events. We're getting free polls, we are getting free uh, Carnage Jam, free Nighters, we're getting a new banner, we are getting a new floor. So yeah, that is everything you need to know about the license recap. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for for the next update. And that's for me, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Take care now and bye bye.